Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever Lox Games. Never mind, this isn't actually the Lox Games. I, I, I don't know how you can tell. That's for a different episode. That's for a different episode. This one, I'm getting ready for the Lox Games. Not, not practicing, not that kind of getting ready. No, 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 no. I'm making a game for the Lox Games, bud. Bud? Buds? People. <laughs> I'll call you people. That's where that works for me. Uh, yeah. I have had an idea for a while. Ever since Natural started this, which I don't know if his episode's coming out before or after this one. I'll have to talk to him about that. But basically, I wanted to make a gun game. And then I decided, nah, it's, there's just not enough weapons in the game. Let's make, like, an airsoft kind of game. Where we get to pick out a loadout from this stuff here. So we've got, uh, like, sword, mace, Got some armor in here, shields, uh, and we have bows as well. And I'm gonna add some more stuff to this. I did a loads of grinding off cam. And we've got some stuff here like this, some chests for storage, and we're gonna have some uh, other spots to do this, to do things. But in this one, we gotta build stuff, like like a lot. We gotta build a lot of stuff. Uh, now I'm actually gonna throw down thing right over here. Uh, you know what? I'll build a bigger gate. How about that? That that looks like it'll work better. Yeah. Now, I'm just jumping right into building this. Now, the purpose of this game here is we're going to have an arena. There's going to be, like, a couple spawn spots, I guess. There's going to be a bed in there, and there's going to be some other stuff. Okay. Uh, I guess this is one of those spots where things get annoying, and I have to just throw it down as best as I can. Yeah, I guess that's it. And yeah, I'll throw down this thing here. And I'm just, I'm not going to focus on commentary at all in this video if I can help it. If I focus on commentary, this video is going to, it's going to be garbage. Utter garbage. And this game might not turn out that great either. Now right here is one of those spots that I actually want to throw a little house in little spawn base, right? To get, oh, uh, I'll make a two by two right here. We'll throw a door on the end of it. Throw wooden wall right there. Wooden wall on this side. This, yep, that's not right. That's not the right spot. What are you doing, Green Knight? Um, that's, again, I'm not throwing things in the right spot. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, I'm gonna get some stuff in there. This is gonna be walled off on these sides. Furniture, we want a bed. Because everybody's gonna need to set their spawn in a different spot. And if I just have a little bed here with a chest for some food. Well, I, I guess we won't really need that much food. And then I'm actually gonna build up another layer. Do I want to build up another layer? Nah. Nah, let's just, let's just go for it. Throw some things up here. I'm out of wood. Of course I'm out of wood. Never have enough. Whew, let's go over here, grab some stuff. Yeah, I should probably explain the game a little bit more. There's going to be a weight limit that you have for your loadout. So, I'm going to say, like, 10 sounds like a good number. It depends if I want to add more stuff. Like, bronze is not that easy to farm, like, because you have to mine tin and copper. But it's, again, it's not very expensive. And I'm going to go with, like, just first level gear, because that's easy. And the food, I think I've decided, is going to be uh, turnip stew, honey, and cooked meat. Because those are things that we can farm pretty easily, or chaotic can do most of it. Uh, no, I'm going to go over there, I'm going to help out, gather up a bunch of that stuff. Um... Actually, I have a ton of wood in my base. Why am I... I even have a portal, like, right here to my base. With all the wood and stone and all this other jazz. Right there. And, yeah, I should also mention, Natural built everything apart from this house. And he helped a lot with this little house. Because this, this did not look this good until he came along. I'm going to use up this bit of wood first. Then I'll go back. Then I'll go back to base. Yeah. So the basic premise of this game is going to be uh, to kill as many people as possible. That's uh, rather 
interesting description. I'm not so sure I want to go with that. I don't know what the purpose of this game is. It might be to get a certain amount of kills as, like, first. It might be, uh, just be the last man standing. It, it, it'll be a couple of different things. That's, I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to end up turning out, right? Okay, I need to get this pillar just chilling on top of this one. I saw the snap point for it for like half a second. Okay, I gotta get out of that mode, then get back into the... Oh, come on, there. There we go. And right snap point, there we go. Nice, finally, I got it. And I'm gonna come back in here. I'm gonna throw down a couple of structures again. Yep, that's the right spot. Then this one. Boom. And I wanna throw down some more regular walls up here. And I'm gonna have some small basic shacks like this around the whole. That looks atrocious. I am gonna move that back a little bit. Uh, there we go. Still does not look great, but hey, it's could be worse. I'm gonna go grab some wood here really quickly. Yeah, so I, I've got some stuff. I need to get more stuff. Gonna fight each other. I don't know. I, there's not a whole lot planned for this. It's mostly like, okay, hitting the wrong keys. Most of the plan is, like for today, is it's gonna have be the arena. We're building the arena and we can use it however we want, but I've got a small loadout of weapons and armor and I'm gonna have to get a lot of food for it as well. Yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, let's see, I was, at that might be a, an issue right there. Um, here we go. Let me just line this up. I saw the snap point that worked. Oh, is that the one? I think that's the one. No, it's not. Maybe it is. Is it good enough? It's not good enough. Okay, and I'm going to open this up. I might have to close off this side. I might have to do that. There we go. Um... Yeah, this is, this is looking interesting. This is looking interesting. I, <laughs> I'm i not in love with this little shack. Not one bit. Yeah, I know. I am not liking it that much. I think I just decided to take this, flip this around here, If I went more with just a solid wall, instead of trying to make it look fancy or anything, and I just went with a solid wall here, yeah, that looks much nicer. Much, much nicer. And I'm gonna need some stone to raise and level ground, I think. I don't know how much of that I wanna do, but yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Uh, for arrested bonus, there is this building up here. Uh, we'll be doing that at the start of the game. You'll get your rested bonus once you die, you lose it. You respawn, you get your no skill drain, you get your... Uh, grave running thing, whatever that is, I don't know. Uh, okay. I'm also just gonna bring this... Eh. I'm gonna mostly work with 45s being my like strongest angle. There we go. And the reason I'm using these stake walls is that people can't just jump over them and on top of them. Like, I know in the rules it'll be don't jump over the wall, but it's just nice to have a wall that people can't jump over by accident either. There we go. And I'm going to get the walls set up. So uh, it's a little bit... Yeah, so once we get the walls set up, I'll be able to set up some more buildings in that. I guess, do we want to do a kill counter? 
see who gets the, the highest kill count first. Something like that. I don't know. I think it'll maybe just be to have fun. It might just be a chance for all of us to let loose, turn PvP on, and attack the snot out of each other. Because I feel like everybody wants a little bit of that. Everybody wants a little bit of that action. How much wood do I still have on me? I have a lot of wood on me. It's also getting to be nighttime, so I might head back to, uh... Ooh, I just remembered, yeah. My base kind of got destroyed back at spawn. Or not the spawn, uh, the village. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, let's just break these rocks. There we go. And let's get back to placing some stake walls. There we go. Yeah, I'm not going for any real shape. This is just going to be whatever it turns out to be. There's going to be four little shack structures for people to respawn at. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back to base because this is starting to get just a little bit too dark. Too dark for YouTube. Uh, let's keep going here. Yeah, I'll bring this in again. That looks good. Just bring this in a little bit. And I think I'll put... Oh, there goes my hammer. Good thing I put the shack here with all the repairing stuff in it. And I think that corner over there is going to be another spot. It's not big, but it doesn't need to be big. Like, it needs to be big enough that I can put some structures in there and walls and that to hide people. Yeah, I'm going to go back to base sleep away the day actually you know what i'm gonna just build the stake wall off cam until it's daytime then i'll get back for the fun part so i kind of did a lot of work and obs kind of didn't record it i don't know i must have hit the hot key at the worst of timings because i went to look at my footage and it, it, it started recording where i stopped so that that was fun yeah that's all deleted. I would have turned it into a time lapse if I'd actually done a lot. I did most of this on camera. And it was it was already like 9 o'clock at night and I was just done recording. So I decided, hey, let's just do this tomorrow. I'll, I'll talk about it. But basically, I think since the last clip, since the intro clip, that whole thing, all I've done is I went around, put all of the stake walls in, right? Made our little outline. I have these little shacks here. I think I built one of them on cam. I'm pretty sure. But they basically just got the bed and the chest in them. Some stuff. And my whole idea here is everybody comes out, like they like you start the game, everybody's in their little house, right? They're in here, you've got your claimed bed. Ah, uh, you maybe you're just chilling here with your bronze alert. No, it's leather. Leather armor. You come out, and it's like you don't want line of sight with anybody. These guys will not have line of sight because there will be like a building here or here blocking it so you can you can see them it's going to be difficult to shoot them maybe but it's not going to be like insta kill somebody as soon as they come out and that's what i did a lot of work on i had little things like this building over here and that building there and this one here which might need some repairs because trolls attacked me and i kind of need to uh Make sure it's fully repaired for the game, because, yeah, people are going to be hitting it, and if one of these structures goes, it's not a big deal, but if one of the supporting ones goes, yeah, it becomes a big deal. Yeah. Okay. I also ran out of my good food, and I'm not bothered to make more of it, so, yeah, you can see there, there was some big damage on those guys. Any more things? Eh. Yeah. can repair those. I'll break this. Well, actually, I need that right about here. Uh, I don't know where my stone cutter went. Did I put all the stuff away? Yeah, I must have put the stuff away. I guess I just need to grab two iron. So it's not that big of a deal. Just grab the two iron from one of the carts. Like this one. Bada bing, bada boom. That's now mine. We run down here. Through the gate. Take some damage, because of course we do. Uh, and I'm just gonna throw this down somewhere where I'm not gonna end up building something for a little while. Yep, so right here, just to prevent that line of sight again, I'm gonna throw down 
A little shacky shack. Maybe, actually, an outhouse. We 100% need a little outpost in here. Out, outhouse, not outpost. Uh, words. I can't speak them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little thing like this in here. And this is basically the style of structure that we're going for all over the place in here. And now, when you're this player, you come out here, you can't hit whoever's down there. You can't hit whoever's over here. And up here is actually probably the two best spots. I don't know. I don't want to say that. Because, like, obviously, you're blocked off here. But that's the thing. There's these two little control points. And especially if we did like a team version or like a capture the flag. You know, obviously one team is going to have their flag up here. Because that's like the best spot to put it. Or in the tree. The other team is going to put it over here. Like, because you're going to end up having like, you're going to have this side over here and that side over there. So, I don't know. There's a lot of different things. Actually, in, inside one of these buildings, inside the outhouse even. Oh man, there's so many interesting things that I'm thinking of. And... This is mostly just a, an arena. It's it's not anything particularly special. It's it's just designed. We can come up with games afterwards, but we have a place to play them because we have this weird arena thing that basically does whatever we need it to do. I'm gonna throw down one of these here. Yep. Yeah. Something in the back. Eh. Okay. I'm actually gonna bring this up. Just a little bit more so they get less cover. Because it's so far in the back that I think I, w I want that. I want whoever's back here to have slightly less cover. So can you actually make it up here successfully? No. I'll just take out those two. I'll keep this one here. Yeah, you want, you want less cover the farther back you go. And I'll build another little building back here. Yeah, and I think I will allow people to jump on the rooftops, because that's... Like, not over the walls, of course. Not over the walls, but on top of roofs, like over there. Because you have so little cover up there. Like, it's so easy to just shoot somebody off. And even in spots like this, it's not... It's, it's actually, yeah, it was easy to get up here. Right, I might make these like a half wall taller or something. To make it difficult to get up here. Yeah, I'm actually going to do that, I think. Yeah, we're going to do that on cam. I'm going to make these all a half wall taller to make it more difficult to get up there. Because I don't like how easy I got up there. Um, so, yeah. Throw down a thing there, a thing there. A thing all the way around. Nice and simple. Yeah, and obviously the purpose, like the... They, they, they look nice, they add some cover, but the real purpose of these buildings is to block as much line of sight as possible. Because even if you're up high, you I don't want people to be able to see somebody else all the way. And we're not using just bows, by the way. We're using maces and swords. Uh, I'm thinking about including knives, but knives are just, like, so expensive. And nobody's actually going to use them. So I don't really want to add them. Um, is that door? The door is messed up huh that's funny i find that funny there we go now we've got a little structure here it gets difficult to get up here so you can't just run up and down and you have to take a while to get up here too yeah i, I like that i like that maybe the same should happen over with this one and i think these two are gonna be the only ones that do that Except, like, it's still easy. And I'm not putting a floor on these, by the way. That's just a waste of wood. Sure, it might make it look nicer on the inside. But mm, there's not going to be many times where people are on the inside. Yeah, it's, it's really easy to get up on top of this one. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. You don't have many other uh, sniping spots over on this end. Like, you have that little spot with the cover, but it's low. Right? And you want a spot that's high up. With cover. Or without cover. Never mind. I, I misspoke again. I usually do. Um, what's up with this? What? What is up with this end? Why is this end weird? Uh huh. What? I am confused. Okay. Yeah. Again, I'm gonna go with the 
45 thatch ridge up here. 45 degree thatch ridge, I should say. Uh, is that... Okay, that looks right. Oop. There we go. I saw it. There. And then that blocks a bunch... A bunch of line of sight. So people can get some cover. And it's kind of difficult to get around it. In fact, I might actually add a little thing to block specifically this end. Um... Where's my thatch corner? Yeah. Oh, that's just not quite enough. It's just not, yeah. That doesn't look great. Um, what if I actually just went with like a 45, or took it at a 90 degree angle there? Can I add this in anywhere that just like snaps it in right? No? Am I not allowed to do that? Is that not a part of your game, Iron Gate? Ah, uh, I wish that was a part of the game. Now I'm just struggling in general. <laughs> I can't do it. There we go. Right there. And then if I take this... No! Okay. There we go. And get on top of this one. Can I place it there? Oh, but it's blocked by me, I think. Hopefully it's just blocked by me. Oh, I'm gonna have to be, like, nitpicky about it. Oh. Yeah, if I have to get, like, that? Does that look right? It looks pretty all right. Okay. Throw a thing there, throw a thing there. Throw a thing there. Make it ultra difficult to get around that. So you have to kind of jump, oh. Yeah, so you have to jump around this side. You can't jump around there. What I might do is actually take out this this one right there. Maybe this one over here? Does it make it harder or easier? Or can you just... Oh, you can kind of make it around. So yeah, I'm going to need that. That or I could just make the whole building another like half wall taller. But at this point, that, that just looks bad. That just looks bad. It's not even that it doesn't look good. It just looks bad. Okay, and I think I'm done with this area up here, by the way. Ooh, never mind. I'm going to throw some grass in back here. And I'm actually going to throw a round pole fence just in this little area back here. Uh, why? Because I felt like it. Yeah, I think like, just a little round pole fence back there. Keep your boars in. Somebody can get in here and hide. Actually, we can do a hide and seek. Turn off your map blip, and then crouch. Do a hide and seek type, type game in here. It's maybe not big enough arena for that, but you could. You could do it. Ooh, I would love to find a prop hunt mod for Valheim. That would be so fun. Okay. Let's get back. I forgot. I started a building over here. It would have been so handy to have finished. Now, this one I'm not going to build up nearly as tall yeah that was this is probably why i've had so many issues with that i'm not gonna build this one up nearly as tall i'm gonna build this one up just the one wall height and it's gonna provide some cover for somebody who wants to hide back here and wait somebody else out and you know you could also hide inside the buildings don't think that's gonna happen but yeah, somebody can come back here. Oh, they can't get around through there, though. Oh, that's sneaky. Yeah, I like that. There's also a great orf or somebody out here. Let me eat my berry and my honey, because that's literally all I've got right now. Where did they go? Oh, it's a grayling. Hi, buddy. Are you throwing rocks at me? Or you're fake throwing rocks at me? I think that's what you're doing. It's fake throwing rocks. I'm going to take a drink of my tea. Stay hydrated. You guys should all do that too. Stay hydrated. Um. Okay, no. It's control click, by the way. Tip. Neat tip for anybody that needs it. Uh, control click. We'll actually just move everything from like, that whole stack into your inventory. I think I learned that from Chaotic, but I just started using it recently. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong in that 
I got it from somewhere else, but I definitely got it from Chaotic. Um, I'm thinking I want to put something else in here. I want to make it very accessible, but I also kind of want to make it like a little bit of cover. I think. Ooh, actually, if I had a little sneaky peek away around that, maybe, I don't know. Um, just considering the idea, like, if I put something in here, like this, I'll provide a bit of cover and a fair view around. But so does this, and it's like, they're already high up. I don't know. I don't know, I think, obviously, this is like, for an archer, this is easily your best perch. You get max armor, a shield. Wait, no, if, if the uh, limit's 10 pounds, 10 weight... I might have to change the limit. I don't know, it might have to be 15 or something. You can get full armor and uh, a couple of weapons. Let's let's do this on cam. I'm gonna figure out how much weight a person can have and how much weight they might wanna use. Because I know the sword, like we'll just call that a pound or like one weight. The bronze mace is two weight. So if you have a higher skill like me, I have a higher skill in clubs than I do in swords. Why is my sword skill at 7? Oh my goodness. Okay, I did not realize that. So clearly I'm going to want to use a mace. So my sword skill. I'm actually going to practice with the sword, I think, after this. But yeah, it's something that you're going to consider. Me and Chaotic have died a lot farming stuff, so... Yeah, we're going to probably want to use maces because we're better with the porcupine. So we'll say like that's two weight for me. And then for armor, you're obviously going to take the helmet, because it's only one weight. But then you're also going to take, like, the leather pants or a shirt, right? So you're going to have, that's six, so that's eight. Now, you might want to go for this, that would be, like, 13. And then the shield on top of that is 16, right? And then for a bow, that weighs 1.5. We'll just call, uh, I guess 1.5, yeah. And I'm not going to worry about the wood arrows, because they weigh 10 each, so... If we considered that, then you could basically get everything, except a bow, and yeah. So I think 10 sounds good, because then you'd go for the bronze, ma bronze mace, your helmet, and your shields, that's 6, right? And you can't get another one of these, so you'd get a bow. Right? Yeah, because then you wouldn't have this kind of armor but you'd have your your helmet and your shield your bow and yeah i see i see that now i can see that working and even if you went for a sword it doesn't matter like yeah i think 10 weight is perfect for this because then it makes you think a little bit differently i might even reduce it to eight so you have to think even more carefully right i don't think many people are going to go for that leather armor though not many people are going to go for that. So, I think we're going to see a lot of uh, naked people running around hitting each other with uh, metal sticks. <laughs> Which, under any other circumstances, would be utterly, like, hilarious and completely, like, not understandable at all. But I think here, it's going to be completely and utterly ridiculous and very understandable. Yeah. Okay. Um, actually, I just remembered, yeah, I did that over here. Why don't I do this over here? Just take it and use hold shift to place it a little bit, like, without the snap points, and just place it a little bit higher so you get less cover. Still get cover, but less. There we go. And I do kind of want to put another little structure in here, and I know that the, um little well thing, or shrine, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Whatever it was, it works well. It does a good job at what it's supposed to do, which is to block a little bit of that eyesight. And I'm actually going to keep this one a little bit lower than that one, because it's not meant to block directly, and I still want people to be able to kind of shoot over this. So that, that height right there is almost perfect. And it's nighttime, I know. I'm going to do a bunch of uh, building off cam during the night. 
and uh, I don't know, maybe is the next step to get some people on here and uh, playing. Should I do that? I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe I should do like a 1v1 against natural on here. I don't know. Let's see. You've got your bow up here. I'm out of arrows. I know. I need to make so much stuff. I'm running low on everything. But yeah, you got plenty of coverage, but somebody can still hide behind the well here and just like run up one two shot yeah something like that i don't know i have to get all the food ready for this too i just remembered that ah i think i want to do like a 10 live system so everybody will probably be end up eating 10 food like 10 of each food um okay is there much else to build in here i can't even see um i think up here is good got this big open area and you can shoot you got a clear line of sight down there i'm gonna build some more stuff guys i might get back with natural or chaotic whoever's on and willing to play test i'm assuming both of them are very much willing to 1v1 me they're willing to kill me easily but yeah i will see you guys in just a second of course it starts raining as soon as it turns today okay well Maybe I'll get a chance at Thor again, but I don't I don't think so. Not not this time. Guys, I couldn't find a test subject. Uh I mean I mean victim I mean test subject? I don't know, I meant victim. No, I couldn't find anybody. They they were busy or it was just late for them. So I guess you're gonna have to see our uh, beta test around the same time as the <laughs> main event. Oh lightning. Lovely. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I really wish I could have recorded more. And I will be adding a couple more buildings. Like, this right here just does not feel filled enough. So I need to add a little bit more stuff. Just simple things, too. I don't even have any... Do I have resources? Yeah, I just don't have a workbench. Fun. Why am I already going right back to building these things? I just said, I'm running out of time. It's getting late for me, and I need to get this video out soon. So, with that being said, guys, if you did enjoy this one, please be do be sure to be liking the video and subscribing. All the standard YouTube jazz. <laughs> guys, I will see all you guys in the next one, and I want all of you to make sure that you have a great day. I don't know why I just stood up again.